Well, hello again, boys and girls. It's Mr. Wasserman, and today we're going to dive into the world of fraction addition. We're in our math journals, volume 2, uh, on page 159, unit 5, lesson 3. Let's take a look at the first problem. It says, solve the number stories, use a different strategy for each one. Okay, well, I have a strategy that I use for every number story I approach, and that's the ruckus strategy, where I reread the problem, I underline the question, I circle the important f facts, uh, I come up with an action plan or my strategy within my strategy, and then I solve it. So let's read. Ryan and his three sisters painted the walls of their family room. Ryan used two-thirds of the can of paint. Each of his sisters used one-third of the same can size can. How much paint did they use altogether? So let's reread that, and as I do, I'm going to be underlining and circling stuff. Okay, Ryan and his three sisters, notice how much emphasis I put around the three, painted the walls of their paint family room. Ryan used two-thirds of a can of paint. Each of his sisters used one-third, okay, of the same size can. So each sister used one-third of a can. How much paint did they use all together? All right. So the phrase all together, right, that tells me we're going to add, okay? So we're combining, okay? So my strategy is to add. Now, before I can come up with the, the addition problem, I need to figure out what is the whole. And that's not H-O-L-E, it's W-H-O-L-E, okay? Now, when they ask you what the whole is, what they're really wanting to know is what is the unit? What am I counting here? Well, if I'm painting a wall, I need a can of paint, okay? So that's my unit, my whole, a can of paint, okay? So when I go to uh, Lowe's or Home Depot or Sherwin-Williams and I, I'm buying paint, I have to buy it in units of cans. Okay, so that's my whole, a can of paint. Okay, so now I have to add the amounts. Well, I know how much paint Ryan used. He used two-thirds of a can. And each of his sisters used one-third of a can. Okay, and there are three sisters, so that means I have three groups, or three add-ins, that are one-third. So two-thirds plus one-third plus one-third plus another one-third is going to give me my total, P for paint. Okay, so now I have to solve my problem, okay? So how do I solve it? Well, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pretend that the denominators don't exist. Okay, so I'm just going to ignore these denominators, and I'm only going to concentrate on the top part, the numerators. So basically what I'm doing here is I'm adding 2 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. Now already I'm sure some of you are shouting at your uh, computer screens or your tablet screen and saying, Mr. Wassman, 2 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 5. And you would be right. So 5 is my answer to the numerator problem. Okay? So this is my uh, problem with the unknown. Here is how I would solve it. So I'm going to add 2 thirds plus 1 third plus 1 third plus 1 third, like so. 2 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 gives me 5, right? Now, the thing about adding fractions, as you probably already discussed in class, although the numerator is going to go through some changes, the denominator will not. We are counting thirds, okay? So if you can imagine that can of paint for just a moment, okay? Let's say they painted their uh, their room bright green, okay? 
So if I was counting cans of paints, I would cut that paint can into thirds. So here's a third, here's a third. There's a total of three thirds that go into one can of paint. Okay. So when I add 2 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1, that gives me a total of 5. 5 what? 5 thirds. Okay. Which tells me that's more than one can of paint. Okay. So if I'm thinking about cans of paint, uh, Ryan and his sisters went through a whole can and then they had to dip into a second can. And there's my second can filled with green paint, and they had to use two more thirds, okay, because three plus two is five, okay, so they used one, two, three thirds of one can, and then one, two thirds of a second can, that gives us a total of five thirds. Or another way of thinking of, about it would to take those two amounts, one and two-thirds, and create a mixed number, okay? So for our answer with unit, I could say five-thirds of a can of paint. Which also equals one and two-thirds can. Okay? And that's how we think about adding fractions. We just concentrate on the numerator for the computation part, and then we remember that the denominator, or the bottom number of your fraction, is what we're counting. In this case, for problem number one, it was thirds. Okay? Let's jump down to the symbolic algorithms of adding these fractions, shall we? You're being asked to add two tenths plus five tenths, and they uh, wrote the problem vertically, which is usually how I like to add things. Um, however, we sometimes get confused by the presentation of information, and you might be tempted to do this, okay? Two plus five equals seven. Ten plus ten equals twenty. Oh, two tenths plus five tenths must be seven twentieths. No. Wrong. Okay? Because the tens in this algorithm are the denominators. Okay? And when we line them up vertically like this, it's a little confusing until you realize that we just have to ignore these uh, denominators for just a minute. Okay? So let's try this problem again. Two tenths plus five tenths gives me what? Well, 2 plus 5 gives me 7. So all I have to do here is remember that I'm just adding the numerators, and then I can go back and drop in the denominators. 2 tenths plus 5 tenths gives me a total of 7 tenths. So again, when we are adding fractions, we are only adding the top numbers. We are thinking about the denominators, the bottom numbers, but we are not doing anything to them unless they're unlike denominators, which we will get into a little bit later, okay? So if you take anything away from this lesson is that when you're adding fractions, you're looking at and thinking about the numerators. The denominators are talking about what we're adding together. Instead of tenths, we could be adding cans of paint or cats or uh, candy bars or anything else that starts with C, or anything you can think of, okay? Questions? Well, you know who to ask. I always tell you that at the end of my videos, your math teacher. If I'm not your math teacher, uh, please reach out to your math teacher, and they will be happy to help you, okay? Until then, we'll talk again soon. Thanks.